Hello YouTubers, so today we're going to be doing a little review on uh, some SMD stencils. Um, now if you're a bit of a P uh, PCB geek like myself then you're eventually going to want some stencils. Because there's just some stuff you can't sold by hand. Um, so I went online and I found this company and um, the price is, is relatively cheap uh, for these stencils. Um, now they actually send your orders in a year uh, cardboard envelope that way your stencils don't get creased or damaged they chuck in a couple of stickers as you can see uh, and also a, um, a um, soldering paste spreader that's made out of plastic and as you can see my design there and they also send you um, just a big piece of paper with your design already on um, I think this is for them to check before they, uh, they send out your, your designs um so uh these stencils um they're made out of um heat proof material um I can't remember what it's called called now but um as you can see they they seem pretty good i mean I had a good good look at these and uh they looked fine you know the um edges and the corners was nice and sharp um now here you have my jig uh, you can they actually do uh, sell these on the website you can buy these jigs but um, I just made one out of um, two millimeter thick cardboard that I had laying around the house um, so as you can see there I'm just putting my uh, PCB in in the jig um, and now we're going to get the stencil uh, lining it up to make sure um, it's all lined up perfectly now we're uh, bear in mind my camera um, is actually um, on top of a magnifying glass this is how I'm recording this so I can't see straight down so I can't get a very good look um, obviously ideally um, if I wasn't recording I'd be able to um, double check to make sure it's perfect so there we go so now I've got the um, stencil down it's uh, time to to apply the um, solder paste now we're, as you'll see on my spreader there there's a bit left already on it um, I actually did a couple of these um, before I uh, started recording um, so here we go just gonna put a, a bit on there um, as you can see that's way too much but um, you can uh, put it back in the pot and use it like uh, another day Okay, so here I am f pushing down firmly uh, and pulling at the same time, and that's it. That's a perfect drag. That, as you can see, you just lift the stencil up and um, just make sure you take the uh, PCB out, and it's it's done as easy as that. And um, Let's have a closer look underneath the microscope, and you can see I'm I'm just slightly off with my stencil. You can see at the right hand side a little bit. Um, that's obviously because my camera was in the way and I couldn't get it. I couldn't look at it perfectly. Um, but that's um, still good enough to um, to use. So um, I'm just going to uh, mount all the components now. Uh, again, I'm doing this under the um, magnifying glass um, actually using the camera uh, view screen to do this um, so we're just putting them on now um, so yeah really I mean, I'm only uh, adding leaving these extra bits because a lot of people like to um, like to see this sort of stage but um, really the stencil has already done its job now um, apparently these stencils are good for a few hundred but to be honest with you I mean I'm making 13 of these um, and that'll be it so but yeah they do say you can use some up to worth what, uh, a few a few hundred times but I reckon you could get a few more out of them stencils so as you can see here I'm a uh, hot plate soldering which is really easy to do and it's cheap as well and it just gets the job done and so as you can see there we've got a perfect solder joints um, no bridges whatsoever so would I recommend you uh, get a bunch of these stencils definitely 
um, that they've done the job and uh, I'm really happy with the results.